Now at 11, we are learning new details about the man who is pleading guilty to attempting to kill his ex-wife with ricin. Investigators say he put ricin into a water gun and was going to shoot her in the face. Then he planned to go on vacation so he would have an alibi. News 6's Troy Campbell has more. Federal investigators say they found weapons inside the storage unit here in Kissimmee. The U.S. Attorney's Office says the man admitted to making the poison ricin with the intent to poison his ex-wife. Investigators say, thankfully, someone tipped off law enforcement. The U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigations says on December 7th, their office was contacted by a woman saying she had received text messages claiming her ex-husband, 50-year-old Kevin Jones, had a plan to poison her when the former couple attended a high school graduation ceremony while speaking with the FBI in the Osceola County Sheriff's Office. Investigators say the victim showed these pictures. The FBI says the new live-in girlfriend of the victim's estranged husband sent them and detailed how Jones had ordered numerous items from Amazon.com in order to manufacture ricin. The CDC says ricin can cause death within 36 to 72 hours if inhaled or ingested, adding the poison cannot be made by accident. The woman said Jones used protective gear when handling the substance and, quote, intended to use a water gun to spray the ricin in the victim's face, adding he planned to go on vacation immediately after to use as an alibi. According to court documents, the Osceola County Sheriff's Office made their move on December 17th when the victim contacted their agency, saying Jones told her he was on his way to her home in Texas in order to pick up the daughter the couple shared after she told him their daughter would not be spending Christmas with him. Investigators pulled over Jones' vehicle before he was able to get out of Florida, saying he admitted to buying the products needed to make ricin and had a water gun in his vehicle as well. The FBI says several items inside Jones' vehicle tested positive for ricin. Law enforcement also used a robot to search his home. The ATF says they found rifles, handguns, and ammunition inside of Jones's storage unit, adding he wasn't allowed to have any of it because of a prior felony conviction. He's pleaded guilty to his charges and faces up to 30 years in federal prison. In Kissimmee, Troy Campbell, Getting Results, News 6.